today's episode, we'll be taking you through the GM high security door lock. By the end of this session, you'll be able to pin the door lock on your own. Enjoy. All right, to get started in this episode of pinning for the GM side mill door, um, the best uh, thing to do is get yourself organized. So I've started out by opening up my packages of tumblers and the components involved, the cylinder, uh, the sleeve. There's a pre-pack that has, will come into play later. There's also the case, grease, and then some clutch components that are part of the second step. Um, but if you've watched the first video in the GM ignition side for a side mill, you'll note that you start by tumbling the cylinder first. And this is gonna be no different today. We're gonna to take the cylinder and we're gonna locate the left side of the cylinder. In, in the side mill, we have a left and a right side. And the way to identify the left side is by looking at the tumbler ward, which is closest to um, the face cap, so with the spring hole. So this is the first tumbler ward, this is the left side. Um, and as with the exercise we did with the ignition, we're going to utilize the same code series we did before when we pinned that lock up. So um, you'll see by the slide that we're going to put up briefly that you'll have um, the same code as the ignition. So with that said, we're going to get started on the left side. Now, as always, you want to use a little grease down in your tumbler wards. So I'm going to put a little bit of grease down in the spring holes and that's going to help retain the springs in. So I'm going to grab the springs which I've laid out up here on the pinning mat. Alright, so now that we have the tumbler springs in uh, we know by the diagram that our cuts on the left side are one, one, two, four, which is an engineering cut. So I've laid out the tumblers. I've put the ones up at the top. So the first position here, I'm just showing for an example, is a one. The next left-hand position is a one as well. And then the next one is a two. And then the last one is a four left. Now, to check that out, I have the cut key for this. And then when you insert it in here, you should have all of that side, that tumbler series flush on that side. Okay, and that's the left, left side is done correctly. Now we're going to move on to the, the right side. So carefully put your finger along the back. You're going to grab your grease and we're going to do the tumbler ward and the spring hole together. So I'm going to try and cover it a little bit more. So then we're going to put all the springs in first. And then the cuts on the right side are essentially twos and threes and it's two two three three so I'm going to start here near the face and then pick up my twos that I've laid out and then the threes next and if this is all tumbled correctly once we stick our key in you should find that all the tumblers are flush on both sides and that's what we have. So the next step we're going to go into is the sleeve and the clutch pieces. Now when we have the tumbled cylinder then we're going to the sleeve Then we also have the two clutch pieces. This is a freewheeling clutched lock and essentially we'll start with um, the sleeve. 
So we're going to put this on. You'll see that there's features and notches up at the front here. And, and the notch end here. And then we can remove the key. So once we have it, take the key out. And then the assembly fixture that's used for the vise is this fixture. And we put that in there. And there's a slot there. And we put that in. And then we assemble this onto that side so that we can actually get at the roll pin hole. All right, in order to install the two clutch pieces onto the cylinder, I'm utilizing this fixture, 701. 7698 which comes with just a, a plastic sleeve and a punch and you need to take that we're going to take this fixture with that assembly in it and we're going to drive this roll pin through the assembly and you need a vise to clamp this uh, fixture in the next part will be assembling the cylinder into the case now there's a couple things that we would want to look at here um, there is a roll pin and a spacer that goes inside this assembly and then we also want to probably put a little grease on the inside of our assembly there to help help keep it uh, turning properly all right so um, essentially I'm going to put this piece in it goes up in side here and again, fits one way. So that's ready. And then you have this roll pin that situates on top of this assembly and engages with this clutch. And then this whole assembly slides in and then you almost feel it seat through on the other side. You know, want to try out your key, and you'll see that the, the clutching mechanism, how it engages that case. Now, there's only one step left once the cylinder is inside the case, and that is a retainer. Essentially, that retainer piece goes in this slot and then you'll use either some sort of punch or a small hammer and essentially once you peen them over this retainer piece it holds the whole lock together and it, your assembly is done. So here we have the final full assembly um, that concludes episode 5 pinning the GM high security door lock and we appreciate you spending your time watching a Stratex Security Corporation demonstration video. Thank you.